Okay, so dad just got the freezer delivery and carried it up here. We did take a little bit of a peek at it, but we will unbox it together. Um, let me set this up. And the freezer is basically because I have such a extreme oversupply right now at like two and a half weeks postpartum. And in Thailand, a lot of the apartments, they come with a fridge that's like this size. As you can see, here is our freezer. Really jam-packed full of milk. Um, this is a freezer ice pack that we were going to travel with. We are supposed to go um, to Dad's studio today. But this is all breast milk. Here's more milk from today. My pump, my silverettes that I talked about. But this is, this is full. So that is basically why I purchased this freezer. Because we're only two weeks. Two weeks postpartum. And we have all this. And she's breastfeeding. So, definitely making a lot more milk than I thought we would, which is a blessing. Um, it is a lot of work, but let's go ahead and get this freezer set up together and the milk transferred over there. So, like I said, we already kind of took a peek at it, but the smaller size one was actually sold out. So, I bought the 128 liter. It's just basically like a chest. Opens up like this. And there we go. We have this little basket. And it's pretty deep. But we'll get this wiped out and we'll go ahead and transfer all of this milk over here into this freezer chest. And we're going to put it, excuse the mess, we're going to put it over here because it needs to be plugged directly into the wall. And the wall with the refrigerator has an extension cord for all of our cooking things. So I just plugged it in and it did turn on. So here it is. Here's the size of her bath, maybe like for a better comparison for you guys. So here's her bathtub and that's the freezer. And that's like a plug-in air con. But we're gonna wait for this to get cold and then I will transfer everything. I'm not sure what setting to put it on because it is in Chinese. So I don't really know what to do with that, but we will just wait and see for it basically to get cold inside. But that is our little freezer. Um, we got that because of my oversupply 
and the fact that our little freezer over here is full. <laughs> no more room in there. So like I said, I'm going to let that get a little cold and then I will go ahead and transfer all that milk. Now I'm just trying to figure out the temperature gauge. I did use the Google Translate, which was good. Let me show you guys basically what it said to me. I'm going to just flip. So here is from Chinese to English, refrigeration, frozen, micro, cold, frozen, and powerful. So I'm guessing this is like the least coldest and it goes all the way up to the most coldest. So we're probably gonna put it in this range over here um, because we don't have a thermometer. I did put an ice pack in there just to see when that will freeze and it is feeling pretty cold. And it's funny because I'm like, there's no instructions. Here they are, they were inside. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these as well um, just to kind of make sure we are refrigerating the milk correctly. Again, I will use Google Translate because it's all in Chinese. I just finished doing a little bit of work online. Um, the freezer has been plugged in for a few hours now. I haven't really timed it or anything, but I'm going to take this five ounce thing of breast milk and put it in, I think near the top, because I'm sure the bottom is probably the coldest. Um, but here we go. So we've got the little basket here. I'm just going to take that out for now. And like I said, I did put this ice pack in there and it is frozen. You can hear it frozen solid. So that's awesome. And it's really, really cold in here. So I'm super excited. Um, but for now, we're just going to do this five ounce bottle of five ounce, not bottle bag of breast milk. And I'm just going to put it in there. If you can see right up here at the top and I'm going to start a timer and see kind of how long that takes to freeze solid. And then I will do the transfer probably tomorrow with all the other milk because I have to work in about an hour. But this is super, super exciting. Um, it was supposed to come Wednesday, which was a problem because the freezer is full and I am pumping and breastfeeding and we're running out of space. So I'm really, really glad that that came early. Today is Tuesday. It was supposed to come yesterday, but I didn't answer the phone here in Thailand because I don't speak Thai and the delivery man did not bring it, but I called him back today and he delivered it today. So like I said, I'm gonna take that freezer stash over here and probably transfer it over here tomorrow um, after I test out and see how long it takes this milk to freeze. Okay, so both E and Dad are actually sleeping now. So I have a little bit of time to move the freezer stash here, this one, all the way to our new freezer. So I don't really know how I'm gonna do this because there is so much milk. Just like put it in my shirt. <laughs> to the new freezer. This is crazy, I can't believe I'm doing this and showing you guys. But, just getting real here. Life of an oversupplier, two weeks postpartum, almost three. So, just gonna lay them flat. And the thing is, is I didn't measure the ounces for all of them, like this one is six ounces. But I really wish I had measured all of them so that we would know going in, like, what we're defrosting. It's actually kind of difficult. I'll show you guys why in a second. And I'm wondering, like, how long this freezer, like how long it's gonna take before I fill this up because like I said, I'm only like two and a half weeks postpartum right now. 
and this is just an ice pack, a really cute ice pack. But look at this. So like this is already down from the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think I'm going to fill up this freezer pretty quickly. But she is supposed to be eating more, you know, as the weeks go on. So she's at like three ounces right now. And gonna be going up from there. But let's go with another round. I still cannot believe this. Some of it's not frozen. Oh, and these are the cutest, the cutest bags. They're Moby brand. They're super, super cute. This one is flowers. like a whole bunch of colostrum as well. You can kind of see the difference. Okay. So this one I couldn't freeze laying down because there wasn't enough room. Head back over. This is insane. is wet too from the ice. All right, let's keep going. This pack. Here. There we go. Like I said, here's the colostrum. You can see it's an orangish color. This is like this morning, oops, this morning's milk. Wow. And they're kind of like stuck together, I don't know why. Like I said, it's not really letting me lay it flat in here because they're kind of like falling all over the place. It's like a big block, big block of ice. That freeze, like look at this, that freezer is not good over there. like shoving them all in the freezer at one point. Wow, it's already filling up. Look at this. So this is already from the bottom. I don't know why they have this big box here. I think it's just the way it works, like the, the freezer components or whatever. Okay, move these over. And let's get our last bit and not slip on the floor that's now soaking wet from the ice. Okay. I'm hoping I can get this all in one last trip. Some of these are not frozen. This is not good. What day is this from? The 11th. So that's okay because it's the 13th. This one is the 11th. So these were the ones I shoved in there yesterday not knowing if we would get our freezer in time. This one is from the 9th. It's all right, it's from 40s. Okay, so let's keep going. These are the ones on the side in this area. Sorry, this is crooked. That's even worse. Okay, I don't know. Some of these were really not freezing though before. March 3rd. Yeah, this looks not good. So we're going to toss that one. Sadly, but we don't want E getting sick. This 
this one's the 28th. It is frozen, but you can see this is the colostrum. It's very orange. It's that golden milk. All of these are colostrum, honestly. Look at this. All this. So I'm going to keep this when she's sick. Um, to do milk baths and obviously to feed her as well. This is like when I first started pumping. Like this was the 28th and she was born on the 23rd. 23rd. 26th is when we went home. So this is like three days into pumping. Like these are really, really tiny packs. And now I'm pumping like anywhere. Look at that. Anywhere between like three to four ounces per side. Okay, this is terrible. Look at this. Okay, so this freezer's empty. We're gonna have to defrost that because that's a whole lot of ice. All right, so let's see if I can do this. This is just huge. I feel like a kangaroo. I was telling dad, I'm like, I didn't know I would be like a human cow. Like, how do you even know or how do you expect to have like a high or low milk supply? It's just something that I guess you kind of find out after your first pregnancy. Not complaining at all, super, super grateful that my milk supply is, is what it is. It just comes with its own challenges. Like she constantly sits up because the my milk flow is so fast for her. And I'll upload a, March 11th, yeah, that's fine. I'll upload um, a breastfeeding video as well to kind of share what's been working, what's not working, kind of our journey breastfeeding. like a lot of this colostrum on one side. It's just like a brick of milk. And dad says we should start selling that. Yeah, this is going to be full. I don't even know. I didn't even buy like the smallest freezer. The smallest one was out of stock. And obviously I didn't buy the biggest one either because we don't have a lot of space and we're planning on moving. So dad didn't even really want me to buy this one to be honest. And there's this one. March 9th. Yeah, I think this is too long. But here's another one of the really cute bags. This one didn't freeze, unfortunately. It's a little ice cream man, so I'm gonna just Dump that one. March 9th. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's just one ounce and it's not frozen. So we'll just dump that as well. So this is kind of sad because I feel like two weeks in and this freezer is almost full. Let me show you guys before I put this. This just has our ice packs for traveling, um, breast milk ice packs. I'm only going to be dumping, I think it's three bags that didn't freeze, so not too bad. But here is the freezer. It's literally almost full. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's like a bag. It's like a bag deep left. But, yep, that's kind of where we're at but we've got the other freezer as well that we can use. And then this one, and I'm just gonna stick this back in here for now. We can use that. And that is me unboxing, sharing my oversupply and our plan with our new freezer. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, leave them below, and I'll also do a breastfeeding video just to kind of share our journey and everything like that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.